Hey Haley, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna ask you a few questions today, so the audience gets to know you a little bit. All right. So uh, start off by telling us where you're from. So I am from South Florida. I was born in um, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what brought you to Northern Virginia? So I went to Marymount University, and my dad found the school. He actually got a job in Northern Virginia, and he waited till I graduated. And he was like, "I found this school. You should try it." And I was like, "Absolutely not." I was like, what is in Virginia? I'm not going to Virginia. <laughs> I ended up getting a scholarship. And so he was like, you got to try. Uh, so oh. he was like, give it one year. And if you don't like it, you can come back to Florida. I was like, all right, I'll give it one year. And I loved it after one year. And I'm still here. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Glad you're still here. Yeah. Uh, and what did you study at Marymount? So I studied interior design and marketing. Interior design. OK. Mm -hmm. And did you go into that field after? College? Yeah, sort of. I studied in interior design and that was my only major when I started. And then I was like, what if I don't want to do interior design? You know, like, what do you do with that job, with that degree, if you don't go into interior design? So I was like, what if I do marketing also? Mm -hmm. That'll make me a little bit more versatile. Okay. Yeah. So obviously you're in real estate now. How did you get into real estate? Why did you pick real estate? So my mom is a real estate agent and my dad was a mortgage lender when I was growing up. So I always told my parents like, no way would I ever do either of your jobs. You know, you're always on the phone, you work weekends, like that's nuts. <laughs> And then I realized that you can make a great career out of being a real estate agent. You know, the opportunities are endless. Um, you make as much as you work and that really drives me. So uh, my first job out of college was actually a selection coordinator. And so that was for a builder and that's where I used my interior design degree. And I woke up and I did like pretty similar things every day and I got like the same paycheck every day. And that wasn't enough for me. Like I needed a career where I was gonna wake up and like the possibility were endless like the amount of money I made at the end of the year was totally dependent on what I did every day yeah so that's why that's why you're so motivated yeah yeah cool so curveball here what's your favorite ice cream flavor mmm ice cream um, I'm definitely a mint chocolate chip type of girl okay. I know some people say it tastes like toothpaste but I don't <laughs> think that I really like it love me some mint chocolate chip yeah Good choice okay <laughs> favorite part of real estate favorite part of real estate is what I was just saying you know that there's a lot of opportunity and you really can make a great career depending on like how hard you work is equal to how successful you are and so I love that about real estate but also just about helping people find a home and that's such a big part like I'm not a doctor um, so you know that's a very rewarding career but mine's rewarding in a different way like I help people find where they live their lives every day where they wake up and where they go to sleep and where they have you know their special moments and I think it's so important to um, help people find those places. Love that. What about your least favorite thing about real estate? <laughs> um, so my least favorite part about real estate, which I didn't really think about when I got into the career, is making really tough phone calls. So some tough phone calls are like to the agent on the other side. Not everybody's like super sweet in this business. And um, you've been with me before mm -hmm. where I've had to you know, deliver some bad news and got cursed out mm -hmm. and just like keeping my cool and like staying positive and not letting that affect my next decision. Mm -hmm. And then also like having to tell people after they worked so hard and put everything out on the line for a certain house, maybe they didn't get the house, like that was super competitive. And so I have to, you know, relay the news to them. And that's definitely like the least favorite part of this job for me. Yeah, but you gotta do it. Yeah, I gotta do it. You know, usually only happens once or twice for them, but unfortunately for me, like happens often. And I remember the first time I had to do it, I'm pretty sure I called you first and I was like, I did not realize that I was gonna be so nervous to make this phone call. Yeah. yeah. But the more you do it, the stronger that muscle gets. And yeah. That's part of it. Yeah, it's just about being positive about the whole situation. I'm a big believer in that like everything happens for a reason. And so if they didn't get that house then their house is still out there and we got to keep moving. So that's just another part is like picking myself up and picking my clients back up. I have to do that all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, last question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about being on the Damon Sales Homes team? My favorite part about being on the Damon Sales Homes team is just working with a great group of people. And that's also about picking myself back up. So it's, I don't have to rely on myself. Like I can call you, I can call Josie, I can call Damon, I can say, you know, I'm having a really hard day. I didn't get my client the house they wanted. Uh, I spent like eight hours yesterday working on this one thing and you know, nothing's gonna come of it. And you guys just saying like, Okay, well, 
Yeah. And <laughs> on to the next thing, yeah. girl. Like, you got this. Uh -huh. So that's uh -huh. my favorite thing yeah. about working Love with that. this team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> Thank you. It was nice talking. Yeah.